I wanted to get your thoughts on, obviously, this last week, Tupac got his Hollywood um, star on the Walk of Fame. Uh, Flossie went out there for us and, you know, saw some of the people there. Wanted to get your thoughts on the people that showed up as well as the people that did not show up and uh, just just see what you thought of the ceremony altogether. Yeah. Man, shout out Big Flossie and our cameraman, Big G. Appreciate y'all uh, taking the time to go out there and handle that for us, for me and John. John, y'all know he a working man. I keep telling y'all, John worked two jobs during the daytime. So that's why we don't have time to be doing our live streams and stuff like that. But, um, and I'm a cripple. <laughs> I'm still fucked up. So I can't get out there. Let's get to him. I have to suck a nigga in his jaw. But anyway, um, so appreciate Big Flossy for doing that, that work for us and being a part of the Bomb First team. I know it catches a lot of flat because I do talk about a lot of people that you still have great relationships with. So appreciate you still being loyal to your homeboy. Appreciate that big loss. Well, and speaking on that, James as well. James will be back with us. He just been doing a couple other things and, and uh, we getting the equipment and finally got the equipment to be getting the podcast stuff going right. So, yeah. But to get to John's question, Man, I, I, I love the turnout. I'm gonna be honest. I love the turnout, the, the support and the love that he got. Was disappointed that a few people were elected to go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but not show up to that or even post anything congratulating him about that. I always been giving the credit to the estate. It's obvious that the estate wasn't involved in this. Because I don't recall or see, remember seeing anyone from the estate there uh, that's in charge of running the estate. And so that's a person that I'm disappointed in, or two, for not being there. Um, well, maybe they just elect them to be background people. Um, but Snoop and Dre, I thought they should have been there. They weren't. Um, I understand Dre. I totally understand Dre's position. Um, uh, would have liked to seen uh, them acknowledge something from Suge. They can get audio. Could have got audio from Suge, where they could have had him play something. Because um, I know, you know, they know Suge was a big part of Pac's life towards the end. Um, but yeah. But the ones that were there, uh, man, they represent, they, damn, this is where I get in trouble, y'all. A lot of people there was a little bit too Hollywood, made it about them and not so much about pop, in my opinion. Um, I didn't like the picture positioning that they had there. Um, Seth look good. <laughs> she look good. She get she she look good, and she represents. I love the way she speak. Where she don't try to take too much shine, um, lay back. And so I like um, I like that. John, I don't ask you to play this video, so I won't have to explain it too much. I ain't gonna even lead into them. Just let y'all. Let John play it, and then y'all tell me, and then I'll explain what I meant by that. Go green, what up? Can't see. Yeah, I'll try to bring that 
poster in if you can. Thank you. Yeah, bring it in, please. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. We need that poster in. Thank you. Okay. So y'all just viewed that video. A lot of people was like, what's wrong with Mo Preem? Has Mo Preem had a stroke? What's... I even seen somebody post, was it, is Mo Preem drunk? Like, damn. Um, Mo Preem having a, uh, Mo Preem is down there blind, y'all. But those of y'all don't know it. And that's why he was looking like that. And that's why Seth was kind of guiding him in that video. I was glad to see that they had, I never known them. Well, I can't say either way because I didn't know their relationship. But I can tell the way she was cultivating him. That they, they have the same father. But she loved that, she loves uh, her brother. I was glad to see that. I seen a lot of affection sent his way by, uh, by her. It was funny for me to see. <laughs> Except I think she bad chick, boy. <laughs> when I mean bad, I'm talking about she had two of her baby daddies standing right next to her. Well, no, I don't know. I, can't, I don't know. No, not baby daddies, but she had a, uh, what's that boy love name? John? Ray Love. Ray Love and Edie standing right there. For those of y'all know the situation, y'all know, y'all laugh. Um, but, I stayed on previous interview. I wish uh, uh, my girl, uh, Yasmin, uh, she, she wouldn't call herself my girl. That's just a term I use when I say my boy, my girl. But Yasmin, um, I would have liked to seen her there and represented somehow. Um, but it was just a little, little bit too extras by a lot of people in my opinion. But hey, Pac wasn't there. So I guess that may be been the theme for other people to be celebrated more so than Pac. Since Pac wasn't there to celebrate it, he was looking down on it as a big party or a big celebration. So yeah, that was my opinion. Um, glad he got it. It looked good. I hear it's not too far from Nipsey's uh, uh, star. And so uh, y'all get a chance. Please go out there, shoot pictures to us. That's gonna be the bomb, that's gonna be the uh that's gonna be the bomb first community thing. If you go there, take a picture with the star, I promise you, John about to get mad. But we're gonna post it on something on Bomb First. See the bombs, the bomb first, we're gonna do a collage one day and put them all together. But y'all, y'all email John. At bombfirst at hotmail.com. And we're going to make John do some work, y'all. We're going to make John post a picture of y'all with Tupac Shakur star. And uh, post it on our, our channel. So make sure y'all get those done for those of y'all want to be associated as far as the community. Because like I said, Bomb First ain't just about me and John. It's John's, but it's also about the Bomb First community. As John call it, y'all know I call y'all family. Bomb First, peace.